Hello everyone, and welcome into the first episode of Spanky Rambles About. And today I'm going to ramble about Sea of Stars, because I've just got this game, and I quite like what I've played so far. So as you can see, it's a turn-based RPG. You've got three characters, we've got Zael here, and we've got the other two, which are Valerie and Gull. And we're going to hit shit until they die. So... Basically, if you really like games like Chrono Trigger or Final Fantasy V, then yeah, you're probably going to like this one as well. So, let's, let's have a quick demonstration of how it works, shall we? So, we've got number of those things. We can use Mempi here. We can hit things. We can hit things harder, or we can just attack with physical moves. Enemies have different things that they are weak and strong against. So, let's have a quick demonstration here. Go Hit that for me, will you? Thank you very much. So, you hit enemies, they take damage. Enemies also have the uh, turn timer go down every time you make a move. Now, what I like about this is you can choose which characters did you attack with, which is a very nice little feature. So, they say one, it's always going to go down by one, no matter which one I pick. And once everyone's had a go, it counts as an entire turn. So, Veil, hit that. There we go. Lovely stuff. Oh no, they're on zero. They're going to hit me. Bastards. Are you going to do that as well? No, not Gull. Not his face. No. Ah, uh, arse. So, there's another thing where we can do physical attacks. And we can do a skill called boost. Which, once we've done that, we do a little bit more damage. So that's nice. Ah, uh, what's this guy going to do? He's going to hit me as well. What a dance. Okay, and this is a feature called lock. So, with their little symbols there, indicates what type of moves I should hit with. Zale here has got a sword. So, sword. And I only hit once because I suck at timing. Oh well, never mind. Uh, Goal, you've got a hammer attack, haven't you? Yeah, unfortunately, they're going to move next because I have not done enough damage. So that means they're going to hit me with their special attacks. If you manage to hit them with all their weaknesses before that happens, you uh, stagger them and stop them from doing that. Oh no, boom explosion. No, I don't want that in my face. Get out of here. Oh, too late. Anywho, right, enough of this. Let's use a big move. Skills, yeah. Boomerang, yeah. Let's hit, I don't know, you. Right. Press A to deflect. So, if you quite like Paper Mario, this game also has a similar thing where you have to press things in time. So, you've got time blocks, time attacks. Oh, did it properly then. Oh, not like last time. So, yeah, it makes sure you're paying attention, which I quite like in a turn based RPG. It's so easy to just get into the habit of mashing A. But, that doesn't happen in this game. So, this is Sea of Stars. You wander around, you collect shit talk to NPCs, you know, all your typical RPG stuff. But so far, what I've enjoyed, I've quite liked. So, this is available on every platform, I believe it's around £25. And is also available on Game Pass for free, which is what I'm playing it on. Because I like free things, even though I pay £12.99 a month. But shh, don't tell anyone. Alright, Spanky out, enjoy, have a great rest of your day, and I will talk to you later. Tatty you guys.